please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi friends. Well, after sitting on the couch and doing a few videos and being confined to the house for several weeks now, I thought it would be nice if we took a fly in the sky. The rainy season has started here on the north shore of Lake Chapala, and the mountains are greening up a little. They're not as green as they're going to be in another week or two, but uh, things are looking fresh and new, and I think we've successfully made it through another dry, dusty season in the month of May. The rainy season is the favorite time of the year for those of us who live here full time because of the dramatic mountain storms that come out of the mountains on the north side of the lake down into the city or come across the lake, big thundering, booming thunder and lightning and it's very dramatic. It only happens at night because um, in the morning, the tropical sun burns off the clouds. Uh, we're flying past some white egrets in the trees down there. You see them? I had one, it wasn't one of those great white egrets, but I had a little bird attack my drone today. <laughs> and he got real close enough that, and he took several runs at it, he got close enough that I was kind of worried about it and him. When I was in college, I always thought that I would live somewhere near Santa Barbara and have a place uh, up in the mountains and a place by the ocean or one place in between. and. Uh, it's amazing how close I've come in my retirement to being between the ocean and the Santa Ynez Mountains. I have the mountains. It's not an ocean, but sometimes when it's gray and cloudy like this, you can't see across the lake, and it really does feel like the ocean when the wind is howling and the waves are crashing. This is Ajijic, Mexico. You can see a lot of properties. Uh, they extend themselves out towards the lake and there's some controversy about that, but uh, makes sense to me. Well, another trip out today. Uh, oh, essential trip. Uh, I'm going to a pharmacy to get some meds for Lynn, and uh, that's not what makes it essential. I, uh, she told me I have to stop at the donut shop. Uh, I think I'll drive the Beamer today. I haven't uh, started it for a month. Probably ought to uh, give it a little wash, at least wash the windshield if I'm going to set up my dash cam.
Well, as you can see, the traffic has returned to a more normal state than it was a month ago. As a matter of fact, um, I'm not happy that the traffic is back. Traffic is one of the problems here in Ahihik. This narrow strip right here is the only way to get through town. Um, other than on a rough cobblestone street, that's one way, uh, a couple of blocks to the right of us here. And um, when everybody's in town, all of the snowbirds are down here for the winter, and a weekend when the Guadalharans come down for the fresh air at the lakeside, this is a traffic jam. I'm going to stop over here and buy some of my coffee. This is where I get my coffee. I've got the coffee from this guy. He's from Veracruz. And um, I like it. I've been drinking it for about, I don't know, three years or more. It's uh, 210 pesos for a kilo, which is like, you know, more or less 10 US dollars. And a kilo is 2.2 pounds, so it's about, yeah. Five dollars a pound, just rough math in my head. We're passing the Guadalajara Pharmacy on the right and Doña's Donuts on the left, which is part of this essential trip. We'll be stopping there on the way back. I'm going to pull over here and go over to the Marissa Cake Shop. We get uh, red velvet cakes there. Um, actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to go around here. That's the um, El Torito Market there. And... I'm going to park here by this real estate office. The cake shop is the next business down the sidewalk there. By the way, down there below is um, a group of dermatologists that I have recommended for people and um, they seem quite happy with them. The green thing here is Super Lake. It's a grocery store where they have a lot of imported products from the United States and if you have something you absolutely need because you can't live without it they will probably have it I'm going in here to the liquor store they've not sold hard liquor in Mexico for the last couple of months in the liquor stores you can only buy wine and beer and um, beer is in short supply. at the real essential part of this trip, Pharmacia Mascaras. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. Wait for it. Ah, dog content. <laughs> He's a cute little guy. Curiously enough, in these times of COVID, Pharmacia Mascaras, Mascaras, means mask. Well, I might be doing a mask rant in my next video. People have been giving me crap about wearing one and 
Well, I'll save it for my rant, but never mind. Finally, we arrive at Donia's Donuts. So I made it uh, to the essential donut shop. Got a couple of twists and two cherry filled. You may notice there's one missing. Lynn couldn't wait. Uh, I got uh, a kilo of my coffee from the coffee truck. And this is the food from Camello, the truck, the salad, some uh, salsa, and an Arabic taco. Uh, Non-alcoholic beer for Jerry, that's uh, Heineken, Cerro, some uh, uh, coffee liqueur for Lynn. So that's what an essential trip gets you. Oh, I wasn't going to show you the cake, but Lynn insisted that I do. This is from Marissa. And this is red velvet cake. This is the best red velvet cake in the world. And Lynn and I have had red velvet cake in a lot of places, and none of it comes even close to this Marissa's red velvet cake. So, Lynn, was I lying about the red velvet cake being the best in the world? The absolute best. Yeah? Yeah. And we've had it everywhere. Should I turn the camera around and show them what you're wearing today? No. What time is it? It says up there on the clock. What time does it say? It says oh, four o'clock. You sure you don't want me to show what you're wearing today? Jerry. <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera around. You're going to turn it off. <laughs> you, Lynn is still in her pajamas. <laughs> I'm handicapped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're handicapped. I can be in my pajamas at 4 o'clock. I can be in bed. Okay, sorry to bother you. <laughs> okay, turn it off. You sure? Oh, I'm come real on. sure. Just, come on, just let me turn it around just one time. Just a little bit. I'll just get your face. No. Okay. Well, sorry folks. Maybe the next video we'll get to see Miss Lynn. Laline. <laughs> Thanks. You better not be. What? I'm not. No, I no, I wouldn't do that.
thanks for watching. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today. Thank you.